And now, a special message for Mrs. Rosa Scott. <laughs> Ciao, Rosa, from Cambridge. I gather you love watching Coronation Street with Oscar, your miniature Labradoodle, who likes to perch behind you on the sofa. They're wonderful company, aren't they? Just sitting there, one knowing you're enjoying something, and they're probably enjoying it too. And you run the renowned Rosa's B and B. Well, I wish you great success with that. And also, Rosa, you're training to become a counsellor tackling bereavement. Well, well done. You'll be able to help a lot of people there. That's wonderful. And your therapy should be able to lift some people out of Glumville. I'm sure it will. But it's a lovely thing to do, Rosa. You sound a very sweet person. And I'm so pleased. It really makes my day to hear that you enjoy Coronation Street and get so much enjoyment out of it as well, with Oscar, of course. Well, we've just had our 60th anniversary, you've probably noticed that, and I've been in it from the very beginning, and the 60 years have just gone so quickly, I, I can't believe it. And I wasn't in for the first few months after lockdown, but I've been brought back in for the anniversary episodes. I've got a very big story with Peter, which I'm filming during the day at the moment, which is going to go on for some time, so... I'll be looking after my dysfunctional family again. <laughs> well, Rosa, we'll keep your successful B&B &B going. And well done, and I hope you are very successful with your training to become a bereavement counsellor. I think that's truly wonderful. And keep enjoying Coronation Street, and have a wonderful, very Merry Christmas, and a really healthy, successful, and happy 2021. Lovely talking to you, Rosa. Bye.